All right. So quickly, let me explain to you what happens under the hood. Head on to VS Code. Open up the index.js and then, so the first thing we did was to create the store. And the store serves as a centralized container that holds the entire state. And right below, we created the actions. Actions are basically JavaScript functions that returns an object with a type field. And the type field is a string that gives the actions a descriptive name. And here, the name of this action is increment. And of course, the name of this action over here is decrement. And next, we created the reducer. And again, we added the reducer into the store. And lastly, we dispatched the action. Okay? When an action is dispatched, it goes straight into the reducer. And the reducer will check the type of action that is dispatched. So, based on the type of action you dispatched, in this case, increment, which in actual sense is going to call this action over here. Okay? So, based on the action you dispatched, in this case, increment. The reducer will return a new piece of state that will update the initial state. And in this example, we are updating the initial state by one when the action type increment is called. And as well, we are decrementing the initial state by one when the action type decrement is called. It's as simple as that. So we can say the reducer does several stuffs like keeping track of the initial state, checking the type of action you dispatched, and then returning a new piece of state that will update the initial state. All right, so I think we have to add a default state over here. Okay. So let's try to dispatch the decrement action. Scroll down. And over here, I just have to highlight this guy and then duplicate. And also, I'm going to place a comment on the increment. And now I'm going to change this to decrement. And this will dispatch the decrement action. Let's see what we have on the console. And on the console, you are going to see minus 1. Simply because when the action type is decrement, we are returning a new piece of state that will decrement the initial state by 1. And in this case, 0 minus 1 is going to be minus 1. And finally, when the state gets updated, it is going to be added into the store. Alright, so this exactly is how Redux works under the hood. And hope you get the gist. So if you do not understand this explanation for the very first time, I deeply advise you play the video over and over again to get it stick to your memory. This is all for now and in the next lecture, we are going to take example that involves multiple reducers. And trust me, it is going to be fun. See you in the next lecture. Stay focused and take care.